We are joined now by Frank DeMeo with the University of Washington in Seattle, PhD, and you are a speaker today at the New and Notable session. Yes, coming up. yes. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we want to know exactly what are you going to be speaking about? What's your, going to, your so, subject title today? Okay, so I am actually a structural biologist and today I'm going to be talking about uh, a new structure uh, that was determined. And so uh, this structure comes from a uh, a virus, a hyper, uh, excuse me, a virus that infects hypothermophilic archaea, and so it's particularly interesting because this virus has to survive and has to pass its genetic material in these incredibly harsh environments. Um, so very high temperatures, 80 to 90 degrees Celsius, uh, very low pHs, and in these really uh, harsh chemical environments. And so um, we used uh, an experimental technique uh, known as cryoelectron microscopy in order to image this system. Um, and what was remarkable, and so then I developed some tools for um, model building into the system. And so what was really remarkable about this, I guess the key um, point of this, is that it was found that this virus really, one of the ways that it stabilizes um, its genetic material is adopting a different form of DNA, um, known as A-form DNA. And so this is sort of in contrast to uh, most viral structures as well as, as most um, observed DNA structures in nature is taking this different form. Uh, and so this suggests that this virus is, is really using this alternate form of DNA as a mechanism for stabilizing the structure um, in these absolutely harsh environments. Um, and it's particularly interesting because it's really uh, been questioned whether this, so this A-form DNA has been observed um, before, but it's been questioned, but it's never really been seen in nature and it's been seen as, a, as an artifact of experimental conditions. So um, all that knowledge, yes. now how do you take it and apply it in practical terms to today? And what's happening today, right? How do other scientists so I use think, this? I mean, I think the, one of the really interesting things about this structure is that it really does now provide a mechanism so we can see structurally uh, how um, this virus with just a single protein is able to stabilize this DNA. And so uh, it really gives us a method now of if we wanted to design um, design methods for stabilizing DNA, it really kind of gives us a, a method overall to do this. So the way the virus does this is by forming a significant number of polar contacts uh, with the DNA backbone, as well as completely uh, encapsulating the DNA so, so, such that it forms a solvent accessible barrier between the DNA and, and the sort of the rest of the, the outside world. There's um, so much you're presenting obviously within this information. Is there any one aspect that of, of of a takeaway, of a message, or a, a, a key to understanding that you would like the attendees to take with Absolutely. them after I mean, the I, end. Again, I think one of the most interesting things is, is again, this, this sort of other form, this A form of DNA, is really, a lot of people think of this as just a crystallization artifact, that it's not really that important to biological systems, it's not that important in life. And so what I'm hoping people see from the talk that I give today is that this actually is a very important system, that there's a way that nature really if they need to stabilize DNA to these incredibly harsh, uh, incredibly extreme environments, that this form of DNA is really um, is, is powerful in doing that, is, is really the, the way nature does this. Frank DeMeo, thank All you right. so much. Thank this you. will be a wonderful session today, and thanks for taking time to speak All with right. us. Thank you.